I'm going to roll this throttle down even more. There's a horn coming on at 97. We're down to oh, uh, 90% now on the main on the engine and road attack. I'm still flying. It's, it sounds crappy, but don't let that horn distract you. We are still flying at 90% quite safely with two of us in here just pulling over 20 inches. May not be the most efficient, but we're still flying. Hello everyone, and welcome to another helicopter training video with Anthelion Helicopters. This is Alex Jaunt, I'm your pilot on this extremely gloomy day here in Long Beach. Uh, it feels like true English weather right now, so no need for sunglasses today, that is for sure. Um, but nevertheless, we are going to get on with our training video selection here, and today it is Governor Off Operations. Now, I know this is, you know, quite a good topic for especially private pilots, because it's always something that people get quite wary of, uh, manipulating the throttle uh, without the Governor and just via the correlator, and, and obviously there are some key points to remember uh, when we're doing it. So, you know, they're actually quite pertinent for us today as well because I actually had a governor failure uh, a couple of weeks ago and we've been trying to track it down with all the electrical gremlins that you get in helicopters to fix it ever since. Uh, which we have done now, thank goodness, actually in this helicopter. So, actually very, very relevant, very pertinent. Um, you know, so we had some real life experience with it uh, over the last couple of weeks. So, the, today's flight, we're going to actually do a, a governor off pickup to start with. Now, a governor off pickup is not something you'd ever really do. Uh, in a normal sense, because you need a governor working um, for uh, actual normal flight, but say you were out in the middle of nowhere and you needed to get out of there and get out of there with the governor off, then uh, obviously if you're not being stranded, then you just need to know how to do it. Uh, plus, you need to understand if the governor fails during startup, what to do as well, so that you don't overspeed the crap out of the helicopter, which uh, will make you no friends whatsoever. Then we'll go into the traffic pattern. Uh, we'll do the takeoff with the governor off as well, and just do the whole thing and go in the traffic pattern, and then we'll switch uh, the governor on like in normal flight, and then actually switch it off like it would fail, and then talk about actually taking it down to the ground with the governor off as well, because that's more of a realistic situation. Um, so, without further ado, uh, let's get uh, this thing again spooled up, and uh, we'll do a governor off, pick up into a pan, and the rest of the flight. All right, welcome, and hope you enjoy the show. The airspace are in effect for the Los Angeles area. Information so, we're going to actually take the governor off right now, and here we go, governor is off. So remember, 22 and 44 are pretty similar here on a pickup, that correlator um, below about 20 inches is going to try and add way too much gas, trying to overspeed you all the time, uh, which is why you need to be very, very careful when your manifest pressure is below 20 inches on a normal pickup, in case you go into fails, be prepared to roll it off. So, when we're doing a governor off pickup, I usually, in the 44, like to keep it below the red line, like, you know, 98, 99, just to where the horn's not on, uh, because it will try to spike on you as soon as you start pulling it up. So, you have to be very wary of this to, you know, split your attention between those needles and outside. You know, don't just purely focus on uh, the needles where it is important, because then you might get light in the skids and pick up, uh, and you're actually not looking outside, and before you know it, you're in, you know, sliding around or even worse a dynamic rollover situation so just be just be super careful about that and you know always out inside of caution to start with just keep the rpm slightly lower uh, than normally would be so you don't risk uh, going into the red on the upper side of the green arc of the engine uh, on a governor off pickup uh, and like i said the 20 to 44 are pretty similar in that the correlator will add too much gas and cut you to get you to overspeed so here we are governor's off uh, we're at 70 percent right now i'm just going to start okay, manually rolling up Kilo, We've got one more check to do, of course. Slow roll up, rolling away from us, making sure my controls are all neutral. All right, I'm going to try just doing a quick check of our RPM system. About 98%, there we go. All right, so for my governor off pickup here, we're going to roll her up, I don't want to bother making a radio call right now, to about 98, 99%. So it's going to be a normal picker, but I know that now that I'm nowhere, I'm actually quite a bit below flight idle. As I start picking up, there those needles want to go straight away. See those needles? They're trying to raise. That's fine. I'm just coming into the green right now. Are you getting any rain there yet? 
I'm just going to roll off slightly, okay, clutch light uh, comes on, your information come up, everything southwest of that looks uh, like there's some there it comes up, up. I'm starting to light the skids, I'm splitting my attention, roll off slightly, no problem, continue no to come up, change approvals, yeah. just, we do this little dance, continue to pull up on the manifold pressure, roll off slightly as the correlator adds too much gas, looking outside, here we go, getting light in the skids, up we come, we're still perfectly in the green. All right, so Governor is off. We're uh, in the right area here, we're right, 102. Long Beach Tower helicopter, uh, some more Hotel Sierra with uniform at Atlantic. I'd uh, like to take off uh, with, uh, from Texaway Juliet, join the pattern for pad three, please. Number seven for Hotel Sierra, Long Beach Tower, stand by. Okay, so we get to hover here with the Governor off. So now that we're close to 20 inches, things are pretty much normal that you would have, normally have with the Governor on. Uh, we're not moving too much whatsoever. So, you know, again, once you get above 20 inches, around about 20 inches, you can kind of pretty much fly it normally, like if the governor is on and not worry too much about it, which is the irony of when people get the governor failure in flight, they start to freak out a lot of times, where, you know, as long as you've got good manifold pressure, nothing's really going to change. Four hotels here. Taxiway, Julia Beam, Atlanta, cleared for takeoff, pad three, clear to land. Julia, clear for takeoff, pad three, clear to land. Four hotels here, thanks. Alright, so we're just going to come out here. So remember with big pedal inputs though, you are going to see the RPM going up and down. So right now we're going to do a right pedal input, so be prepared, you know. Right pedal, it's going to want to overspeed a little bit there. There we go, so just rolled up a bit. We're all in the green apart from the governor. Off we go. RPM's not moving too much, just, you know, keep the attitude flying really good. What level your attitude, the less changes in inflow angles, the less changes in RPM. So again, governor off operations, smoother the better. And really just anticipate, you know, most of the time. But here we are, coming up, that's normal. And what lovely, joyous weather it is out here right now, it's starting to rain, so... Flipping out, misery, misery weather. Not the most fun flying we've ever done in this gloom, but... You know, we got to do it in all types. All right, coming on to the downwind. So actually, I'm going to turn the governor on now. Boom, there we go, turn the governor on. So now we're in normal flight. I pull my car beat in this because it's a Raymond 1. And then on the downwind here, we're going to switch it off and put ourselves into a governor off landing. Coming up to 500 feet. So remember again, you know, just as they wanted to overspeed us below 20 inches, when we're pulling up, the opposite is true when we're going down. It's going to want to take away too much gas, and so now we're going to have to roll on the throttle a bit. There we are, coming across, so I'm going to switch the governor off. Alright, governor off, normal approach. So now we're going to start coming down on the power, you know, warning lights are out, gauge of the green, pressure temperature the good. We're good. Let's turn the radio down. As we're coming off here, RPM wants to sink on me a little bit. You can kind of hear the pitch of the aircraft change, so we we'll actually just squeeze the throttle just a little bit. Uh, roll us into the turn. And RPM's pretty smooth because my attitude's pretty smooth. Remember, Governor off operations so much easier if you got a level attitude. Pulling up on the power. Coming round on final. All right, now we're on the final. So, again, start to anticipate now. Any big collective movements are going to probably mean you're going to have to manipulate that throttle more. You know, keep yourself lots of time. Don't try and do everything late. Again, you know, split your attention. Don't just focus on your gauges because you're not going to look where you're going and your sight picture will get all screwy. Then you'll put yourself to a super steep approach with big power changes and make your, your life even more difficult with the government operations. So we're just doing this, treating this like an absolutely normal approach with a like, crosswind, of course, because of this wonderful weather. My RPM is slightly low, which is fine. I don't mind it being low. I, I want it to be low right now, because when I come in and have to pull power a bit, those RPMs will climb again, because I'm down at 13 inches. So it's just anticipating a little bit here. Everything is looking absolutely fine. I'm not really manipulating the controls at all. Now as I come in to my spot, now I can see I'm pulling up the power. Those RPMs are trying to come up on me a little bit, so now I'm just squeezing them off a bit. 
very, very mildly, nowhere near as bad as a pickup, and we're back in the hover. I don't know if I need to set it down, just a normal hover. I, especially in a 44, I'm not too bothered if these RPMs go low, because you can hover around at this to get 90% with the horn blaring and be absolutely fine. Um, it, it really isn't an issue, so don't worry too much about that horn. I mean, that horn is a warning, it's not an absolute be-all or end-all. You know, it's just saying, hey, your RPMs are getting a bit low, sort it out. You know, don't let it distract you too much. I mean, I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to roll this throttle down even more. There's a horn coming on at 97. We're down at 90% oh, uh, now on the main on the engine and rotor attack. I'm still flying. It's, it sounds crappy, but don't let that horn distract you. We are still flying at 90% quite safely. With two of us in here, just pulling over 20 inches. May not be the most efficient, but we're still flying. So don't let it worry you. And if this was the case, you're doing a governor offset down. We would just come slowly down on the collective like normal. Still got plenty of lift, set it down, come down all the way in the collective, RPM sinking, RPM sinking, correlates taking away too much gas. Obviously then the horn comes off and the collector's all the way down. So don't worry about that low RPM when you're doing a governor off landing. Especially in the 44 you've got plenty of lift and really you should be able to learn to do it with a 22 as well. Um, it's far more of an issue on overspeeding on startup. All right. So here we are, Governor down, Governor off, down on the ground. We'll do one more roll up to bring it up to flight. Slowly squeezing it up. Just to give you guys an indication again, another pickup, and then we're pretty good. They're rolling up nice and smooth, just to below the red. Remember, you're going to split your attention now, we're actually keeping it at 96%. So the horn probably going to come a bit. Here we are, starting to come up on the collective. There are, the needles want to go, so we're rolling off a bit. Keeping light on the controls. Two-stage pickup. Just rolling off again. Keeping it in the green. Pulling up smoothly, gently rolling the throttle off at the same time. Be mindful of your pedals because they will move at some point. Here it gets light on the skids. Continue pulling up. And we are in a hover. There we go. Governor off pickup. So, like I said, I'm going to set it back down here just to conclude this video now. Here we are, just coming down. There we go. Take it below 70. So there we go, that's a, that's a governor off. Um, pick up and set down and fly. Now, Again, you know, this is could be fairly common, especially these days, unfortunately, with the quality of the mags. They seem not to be, for some reason, as good as they used to be. But, you know, governors will fail on you. And the biggest thing is, it's not a cause of panic. Um, it, it's, a, it's just a cause of going back to your training and flying to the nearest possible safe landing area, which is your airport, your destination airport, with the governor off. Um, as long as you stay ahead of the aircraft and uh, keep, a, you know, as, as much level attitude and good attitude flying as possible, uh, you shouldn't have an issue uh, with it. Um, you know, obviously don't take off with the governor off, uh, but be prepared for it to fail on the way up as well. Be prepared to roll that throttle off, guard that throttle uh, with your existence because a, a cold overspeed uh, of the aircraft is um, obviously not what we want. Uh, we did good to avert it when our governor failed the other day. Um, so really, really just guard it, just, just understand the mechanics, understand that that correlator, although it does give very, very good mechanical control and correlation um, on, on, on the... Uh, your mixing unit, it, it, it does not function accurately below about 20 inches on the 44 or the 22. It will add too much gas on you when you're, you're picking it up, and it will take away too much when you're going down. That's where the governor really comes into its own, where it's fine-tuning it. Um, so just on your pickups, always, always, always watch that governor and what it's doing. And if it looks like it's starting to get slow or erratic or lag, just space, you know, keep a very firm grip on that throttle to override uh, if required. And then when you, if it fails in flight, again, don't panic. Uh, just turn it off. If you start to feel that throttle moving way too much in your hand, which to me was a precursor for the magneto not doing its thing, the, the, the throttle literally just wanted to turn left and right on me, and then it really started to try and overcrank on uh, on the engine um, significantly to the point where it was quite hard to roll it off, and then you just obviously had to switch it off and uh, and uh, fly governor off operations there. But just you know, just recognise what it's going to do and actually try and turn it on, you know, turn it off before it gets really bad and it starts to distract you in flight. Because believe me, you don't want to be fighting the RPM in flight. Just turn it off before then. 
uh, and fly back manually. And just practice it. Don't, you know, even as a commercial pilot, just practice Governor Off stuff in, the, in these Robertsons. It doesn't hurt, especially when the magnetos are finicky. Uh, Robinson is coming out with some new stuff, hopefully, on, honestly, it already comes with some new redundancy stuff on the new 44s. We're waiting for them to roll out the kits on the old 44s um, to, to make these mags a bit more reliable and to make the system more reliable. Uh, because, like I said, it's rare that the governor itself goes wrong. It's usually the mags, but for all intents and purposes, it'll look like the governor's going wrong. Uh, and you're there, you know, focusing on the cockpit, trying to fly the thing. So, with that being said, you know, do you good, do a good pre-flight? Make sure that uh, you know you understand how the governor works, uh, what the indications are of faulty motors or faulty uh, uh, friction plates versus the mag. Chances are it's the mag. If you if it's trying to pull it up, your engine RPM up, um, it probably is the mag rather than the governor. If it's starting to lag down, uh, then it'll probably be the governor motor. If you get momentary spikes, um, then it could be the friction plates going on the uh, the governor. But that's less likely. It will be that'll be the same indication as the mag. Um, but that is a less likely thing. Again, good way of diagnosing it, turn the governor off, and uh, if the engine RPM is still spiking uh, on its own as you roll up and down, then it, there probably is a mag uh, other than attack. So just, you know, a little bit of diagnosis goes a long way. So keep it cool, don't panic. Governor operations are relatively simple. Uh, many, unfortunately, uh, in the past have done emergency landings because of it, because they don't know how to deal with it, which is a whole another world of things that you don't want to do is understand your procedures uh, and just fly safe and uh, just keep practicing practice practice and more practice if ever you don't feel good about it go practice again all right i hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it uh i know i actually got some good training out of it when i go when i failed last week a couple of weeks ago or the mag is the case maybe um stay safe and we'll see you next time for the training video with me alex john and, and feel your helicopters bye Requesting air taxi back to uh, Atlantic Juliet.